Hello my name is James, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Episode 5 of Squid Game wastes absolutely no time picking up right where we left off from before. Team 4 stepped forward, catching the group off balance and leaving G.I. Hun dangling precariously off the edge. The move works and Team 5 find themselves slipping, Team 4 come out as victors. While the dysfunctional group head back to their dormitory, the workers continue to deceive the front man and the others in charge. After marking one of the caskets with a bloody cross last time out, the body is dropped before hitting the incinerator. This drops to a secret chamber where the body is seen to by two defected workers, numbers 28 and 29. Now, given Junho has taken over number 29's room, he's thrust into this role. Back in the dorm, G.I. Hun's group set up a barricade not willing to take any chances given the attack before. They're not going to see another massacre, and G.I. Hun even has some choice words for Deoxu too. He warns him against getting complacent, pointing out that the thugs he's with aren't exactly trustworthy. As they say, there's no honor among thieves. Now, player 111, our doctor, has a deal with the corrupt workers in the games. With the CCTV footage deleted, he's being used to help the corrupt workers ferry organs out of these dead bodies and onto a boat bound for the mainland. In exchange, the doctor is told what the next games will be and given a distinct advantage. It's a win-slash-win situation, if they can remain undetected, that is. The organs are bagged and handed over to staff members number 28 and number 29. Now, 29 is actually Junho in disguise of course, and he does a relatively good job blending in. In their absence, 111 starts to lose his trust in the remaining guards, especially when they refuse to disclose details about the next game. He charges out the room and makes his way through the winding hallways to the familiar playground, ascending through numerous doors and clearly being spotted on a whole number of different cameras. Up above ground, the front man arrives and shoots the unmasked worker dead as 111 watches on in shock. Their arrangement has come to an abrupt end and it spells bad news for 111 too. The doctor is shot dead too, reminded that these games are supposed to be fair. Meanwhile, down in the basement Junho's identity is revealed to staff member 28. Junho believes these men are responsible for what happened to his brother but 28 remains adamant that they're not. However, he does reveal the location of a list with all the different people operated on, including a girl whom he and his buddies each took turns raping before taking her organs. Disgusted, Junho shoots the man in the head. It doesn't take long for the front man to realize Junho is not one of them and alarm bells wail overhead as a search gets underway. With precious little time remaining, Junho sneaks into the record room and digs through the files. Labeled as Squid Archives, he begins sifting through each player's files and finds their medical records and details about their life. Hiding inside one of the drawers is a familiar black box with pink ribbon. This holds a list of all the winners, dating back all the way to 1990. Anyway, one player immediately catches his attention, player 132, Wang Inho checking the 2015 file, he realizes that this rings true and his brother was very much a part of these games.